Hi everyone. So got an email last night just about how to create a slider on your homepage. So that's just like obviously you know your competition's going across saying you know enter this competition. Uh, it's a pretty widely recognized thing to do on a website. Pretty basic. So in this video, I'm going to go through exactly you know each step you need to do to make that happen. So first, we're going to create a, a new grid. So we're going to call that the homepage slider, and then we're going to create the slider itself on the homepage. Uh, there'll be a couple of links in the description for this one. So just to make it easier, I'm not going to go through every single option. I'm going to send you, well, I'm going to, in the description below, there's going to be a link uh, and you're going to be able to copy and paste into your website and this will create most of the stuff for you. So you don't have to go through the, the boring stuff. So let's get it, go ahead. Um, so hopefully you've already seen what it's going to look like. So a bit like a wee bit of blue Peter going on, just saying just so you can stick around you know what you're going to make uh right so first things first we're going to go ahead and go into the dashboard uh, and inside the dashboard we're going to go into grid layouts so in grid layouts we're going to go and create a home page slider so at the very top add grid layout and see where it says import and export just click on there and you'll see this this area just delete that completely and then in the video description underneath is going to be a link so it's going to be the probably one of the first links uh, copy that code that was in um, the text box in the middle of the website kind of looks like this maybe this kind of looks like this copy that and paste it in here and click import grid layout so that'll do a couple of things so it imports the post photo so that's the main image that you attach to your um product uh, and then obviously on top of that it's going to be the post title product title basically the price it is and enter competition is going to be the button underneath if you have made a couple of different buttons in the theme options you can click on the pencil icon in there it'll say style underneath that you, your buttons might come up here if you want to swap uh, what buttons they are so if you just save those changes hit save changes at the top right we're actually going to name this here the top left here we're going to name this home page slider okay save right next thing we want to do is actually go to the home page or whatever page you want this on but it's most likely going to be the home page we're going to set it in underneath this uh, header here between the competitions and the header so go ahead I'm going to edit that page right okay so next thing we're going to do is that there's a wee uh, grey button plus button down here I'm going to click there and click on carousel so that's going to give us a new row with some carousel settings so we want the products in here so click there uh, you can not set it to only show featured products, but for now, we're just going to leave this completely standard. Uh, it's going to be from the data creation, so the first one, the your most recent uh, competition is going to be first. It's going to be shown first. So item, so we'll say set this to the five most recent uh, competitions. Okay, so next we're going to go up to appearance. So in appearance, we're going to select the grid layout that we just created. So it's underneath home page slider there at the top. So also going to make this one column because we're not going to want two beside each other. We're going to go one and then swipes left or right to the next one. So that's all good. So there's nothing really more to change in there. Carousel. So we're going to want, well, I would want some uh, previous and next arrows. So I'm going to go for full height blocks. Maybe change this to 3 REM. Uh, so the arrow sizes are a wee bit bigger. I'm going to put the arrows inside. So that means they're going to be on the image rather than outside uh, the image. I'm going to go ahead and add auto rotation. Make that around 5 seconds. So it gives the, the person you know, time to see exactly what's going on. Um, at the very bottom there's a thing called transition effect uh, there's a few examples here that you're able to click on linear cubic I can't even say that to be honest with you 
But all I'm going to do is click on this last one. I think it's a, a good uh, transition. It, it sort of, you know, starts slow, speeds up, and then uh, comes into the next frame a bit slower. Uh, so that's a good one. Click, just click this button here. So responsive options. It looks like they're okay. And then design. It looks like design's okay as well. So we're going to save those changes. And then we're going to, because this is a page builder, we can just drag this above the competitions. This is the competitions grid. You'll see here. I'll just open this another tab. Just so you know what we're looking at. So these competitions here relate to this grid, this grid product. Uh, and then this carousel is the um, slider, slider that we've just created. So one, th one more thing we're going to need to do is because we would like this to be full width, you know, the full width of the page, we don't want it, you know, confined to only this area. So if we just left it as it is now, that would, it would work, but it would only come up to here and here. What we want to do is stretch the content full width and also set it to equal the height of the content. So that means there's not going to be any uh, white, you know, space above and below. Uh, and also uh, left and right. So go ahead, save those changes, and then with a bit of luck, because I have not tested this, that would then add a slider to our homepage. So now that that page is updated, and I'm gonna click view page. If this doesn't work, you won't even know because I will have edited the photo, <laughs> edited the video. But anyway, it looks like it's worked. So you'll see that the images are quite big because they are full width. Uh, if you do make it in a mobile, most of your, uh, sorry, most of your clients are going to be in mobile. So that's what it's going to look like on mobile. So I'm going to take that off. You'll be able to swipe through next and enter the competition. You know, you've got your title, the ticket amount and enter competition. Uh, obviously if you are on a very big screen, it's a bit bigger, but you'll be able to, if you do have um square images you know it's going to look like this but if you have rectangle images you know quite uh more screen sized images they'll look a lot better here but that'll do for now you can see they're on the right hand side you can just click through and there you go so any questions uh there will be links in the description of how to do this uh so hopefully uh you'll have no problems anyway Anyway, cheers. Thank you.